All right, so we got a graph f of x equals sine of x. So what is the y-intercept of the graph of x? Uh, in this instance, it's going to be um, y equals 0. Because right here, right at the origin, 0, 0 is where it does it. For what numbers of x, negative pi to pi, is the graph increasing? Um, so here's pi, here's negative pi. It's increasing from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And I put parentheses over this because at the very uh, peak and bottom, uh, it's neither increasing or decreasing. Absolute maximum, it's just 1 because there's no, it's just implicit with the amplitude here, A, it's just one coefficient. For what numbers? x, 0, uh, less than x, less than 2 pi, it does f of x equal 0. Um, so it includes 0, so in this case it's going to be x um, equals 0 here at pi and then 2 pi because that's included within this interval because they have a less than or equal to. All right, so for what numbers from negative 2 pi to 2 ply inclusive, meaning it's included in the values. Does f of x equal 1? Where does it equal negative 1? So uh, x equals negative 1, or excuse me, f of x equals 1 at x equals negative, or it's not negative, um, Yeah, negative 3 pi over 2, pi over 2, and that's it. And then it equals um, negative 1 at negative pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So where's it equal negative 1 half? And that's on these intervals, so it's going to hit it four times. Um, negative 1 half. So that'd be at negative 11 pi over 6. Actually, they want a 1 half. That's not correct for that. It'd be negative 7 pi over 6. Um, negative pi over 6. Or not negative pi over 6. Uh, negative 11 pi over 6. Um, pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. What intercepts, what are the intercepts of f um, negative 2 pi, negative pi, 0, pi, and 2 pi. All right, that's it. Hope that helps.